Welcome to this video on resistor color codes. In this video, we're going to see how the resistor color code works, and we're also going to have a look at a couple of examples as well. So first of all, one thing to notice is the resistor color code is a sequence of 10 numbers, but you'll notice that these numbers aren't from 1 to 10, they're from 0 to 9. And I've listed the colors that correspond with each of those 10 numbers down the side there. Something else we're going to talk about as well is something called tolerance on resistors. And I've given a couple of examples of different colors that you might see for tolerances. First of all, 5% tolerance is given by a gold color. And 10% tolerance is given by a silver color. There's other colors besides for tolerance, but I've just picked out those two for example's sake. So first of all, resistors we've looked at in previous videos. They're components that can limit current in a circuit and these components are generally very small components especially with modern microelectronics resistors can be very large as well but a common example is this type here and I've taken a photograph uh, that you can see on the on the screen here and it's it's laid on a half centimeter scale so you can see that the resistor is a very small component in this case just over half a centimeter long and because of its small size, it's often very awkward to print the value of the resistance of the resistor on its actual component. Um, and so what we use is this color code instead. And you can see that color code taking the form of colored bands on the resistor. Some resistors have four. In this case, uh, this is a four band resistor. Some resistors have five bands. But let's look at how these colors are interpreted when we look at these four bands. What we can see here is for a four band resistor on the left here, the first band gives us the first digit of the value of the resistance. The second band gives us the second digit. The third band gives us something called the multiplier. And the fourth band gives us something called the tolerance. We're gonna to have a look at an example of what these things mean in just a second. The only thing to bear in mind is for a five band resistor, the only difference is that we have the first band for the first digit, the second band for the second digit, the difference being the third band is for the third digit, fourth band is for the multiplier, and the fifth band is for the tolerance. Now, in our examples, we're going to look at the four band color code. Let's have a look at a quick example. So here's the same photograph of our resistor. And I want to apply the rules that we looked at on the previous slide to how we can interpret the resistance of this resistor. We see our color code again down here on the right hand side. And the first band in this case is a red band. And we know that the, the first band tells us the first digit of whatever value we're trying to find. So I know that the first band's red, which corresponds with the number two. So the first digit of whatever our resistor value is, is a two. The second band is a violet band. It might be difficult to make out in that photograph, but violet corresponds with the number seven. And so I know that the second band uh, being violet gives us a second digit of seven. Then I have a brown band and the brown band is something called the multiplier. And the simplest way to think of this is it's the number of zeros to add on the end of our value. So brown corresponds with one. And so I'm going to add one zero onto the end of my number. So we have a resistance here of 270 ohms using that color code. But we still have that last band to look at, the fourth band, which is something called the tolerance. And in this case, it's a gold band. And we know that gold corresponds with plus or minus 5% tolerance. And what that means is this, this resistor has been made with a manufacturing tolerance. And it's unlikely that its precise value is going to be exactly 270 ohms. And the manufacturer is saying that the value might be out by either plus 5% or minus 5%. Let's have a look at another example now, but working the opposite way around. So the question here is what is the four band color code of a 4K7 resistor. So we're given the value of this resistor and we have to determine the color code 
for it. The first thing to bear in mind is the value of this resistor being 4K7. That's a, a kind of shorthand, really, for 4.7K. So the first thing to do is to write that, uh, that value out in full, just to make things easier for ourselves. So 4K7 is really just a shorthand for 4.7K, or 4.7 kilo ohms. And that's the same as saying 4,700 ohms. So now that we have this value written out in full, let's have a think about our colour code, in this case a four band colour code. First of all, the first digit of this value is a four, and we know that the number four corresponds with the colour yellow. So our first band is going to be yellow. The second digit of our value is a seven, and we know that the number seven corresponds with the colour violet. So violet is our second band. And then the third band being our multiplier, how many more zeros have been added on to our value? Well the answer is two. And so red is our third band. Finally we're told that this resistor has a tolerance of plus or minus five percent and we know that that corresponds with the colour gold. And so our last band there is a gold one. So I hope you found this video useful in looking at how we can convert the resistor colour code into real-world values and also back again.